I think expo early exposure to nonfiction types of books are really, really crucial for students. Um, one, one activity that we did recently is we're, we're studying the properties of matter. So we read a, a, a short book on, on solids, liquids, and gases. And then that day I told the kids they were gonna eat lunch with me in the classroom. So they were kind of freaked out like, Okay, what's this about? And I, so the kids went to the cafeteria, got their lunches, some of them brought their lunches. And we opened up their lunches and I, I posed an essential question. And that essential question was, does my lunch matter? And so they were able to take apart their food and, and, and their drinks and, and decide which, which property that food item went into. And I really think the reason I did that is because I think the, the more exposure they get to meaningful, real life, kind of learning and making those connections really helps those kids, really helps, I'm sorry, all kids, really helps all kids. So I think that exposure to nonfiction allows all students to make that connection with, with their real life and, um, and, and, they're, and basing any sort of project or writing on real life experiences. I really try to hook my kids using nonfiction with famous people. And that is one thing that they truly love, is they love learning about um, people in the past. And so I know one, one um, book that we read recently was on Neil Armstrong. And, and that really, that really um, resonated with the kids because here in New Mexico, we have the New Mexico Spaceport. And Richard Branson has piloted that, and that's here in New Mexico. So we read um, the life, the autobiography of, of Neil Armstrong. And so the kids um, really were engaged with that. And again, could tie that into New Mexico because the spaceport is here. So that's one example. We've had Earth Day recently. So we talk about the importance of recycling. Um, one book that we're looking at now within our small reading groups is a book called Safe Paper, Save Trees. And that talks about the importance of, of recycling at school and at home.